All right, so today we're going to start with my Grove Collaborative fabric softener bottles. I use them both for fabric softener. My husband likes this one from Snuggle and I like this one from Snuggle. But it gets this nasty film on it. So we're gonna soak them and scrub them out and that's today's first task. And as you can see, I have the vacuum over there. We're gonna be doing that later too. Say hi, Gary. So I'm just gonna fill up the dish pan with hot soapy water and let them soak while I get some other tasks accomplished. Now I'm going to take this glass Grove Collaborative bottle and fill it with my Mrs. Meyers basil scent. I am going to clean off my woodwork surfaces with my Jaws hardwood cleaner. So at seven o'clock this morning, these guys showed up to redo our septic system. It's partially done, they are gone for the day. But you get to see how some of it pans out. Boy, do they really dig up your yard. Okay, so for everybody who's new here, my name is Tara. I am a married mom of three grown children. My old, youngest daughter does still live at home with me. I like to put out cleaning, motivational, cooking, DIY, anything that has to do with your home. We're gonna do it on this channel and I hope you enjoy watching. So I only couldn't use my water for about two and a half hours, which wasn't too bad. So today we're really just doing my daily Monday, get it clean, had a busy weekend, and we're starting here in the living room, and we got all the surfaces wiped down, and we are going to get the floor vacuum and steam mopped. As you can see, a lot of my surfaces don't have much on it. I am getting prepared to put out my spring decor, so I've got everything put away for winter. Um, it has been 85 degrees just about every day. We're supposed to get a cold snap tonight with that big ice storm, but it's been hot here. It's going to start being spring soon, so we're going to get ready for that. We're going to make the steam mop smell delicious with this lavender scent. The cats relax with it, and as you can see, they were wild. Here's my steamer, it's the Shark Steam Mop. I love it because of this disconnects and you can put that in the sink versus the whole mop. The other one I have, you have to put the whole mop in the sink. Now, I attach an extension cord to mine because I feel the cord is too short and I need to get into more spaces. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way, if it's faux pas, but that's how I do it. All of these guys working outside with all the noises are driving them insane. If you saw my clean with me in my master bedroom, this is the kitty that I picked up. His name is Blue and he is autistic, but he did pretty well with the steamer today. But this piece is new and one of my clients is getting all new dining room and living room furniture and she decided that I was allowed to have this. so. We exchanged and we really love it. I can't wait to fill it up. This is the piece that it replaced. Future DIY video with dollar store stuff. 
and I'm gonna keep it because it's the only thing we have in the house that fits my cricket. <laughs> but it's a mess. It's it's a bloody mess. So future video declutter. Stay tuned for that. So now I'm just going to straighten the family room and I'm going to get my Mrs. Myers cleaner and wipe down all of my surfaces. You can see that I also watch videos while I am doing my cleaning. Today is Kristen Casper. I really love her and this is her 6 a.m. get ready with me and it was a great video. Very motivating. Am I the only one that likes to vacuum their couches and chairs versus taking off the upholstery piece, which I don't think works as well. I think the brush rollers work great to get the cat hair off. So we are totally making progress today. We've got my little office area clean. We've got the dining room clean. We've got the family room clean and straightened up. Let's attack the kitchen. It must be lunchtime because not much has happened. All right, so now we are getting to the nitty gritty and we've got these soaked and we're scrubbing them out. So here is where I prefer the Snuggle Super Care. I like it because it's white and it doesn't stain everything. I'm sorry, every once in a while, if you have a white thing, that blue stuff does stain. But my husband likes the Super Fresh from Snuggle because he feels that he sweats and that gets the smell out. Now it's time to attack the sink. We're using this Mrs. Meyers Surface Scrub in Lemon Verbena scent. It is bomb. And we're just going to add that new Dawn Power Scrub to it for an extra oomph boost. Why is somebody cleaning out a sink just so satisfying? Do you find it that way? Let me know in the comments below. All right, now we're gonna work on wiping down all the surfaces in the kitchen, just to give a good wipe down. So this is my bottle of vinegar I keep on hand. It's got all these white things floating in it, so we're gonna give it a good rinse out.
I have this wood pedestal. It's from Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it below. The top has gotten water stain and such. Um, but I don't mind it. It doesn't bother me. Most of it's covered. So this is vinegar. I like to keep vinegar on hand. I just, I, do, I use it a lot. I clean with it a lot. I like to keep it on hand. My Grove Collaborative tray. My Mrs. Meyers soap. Our Mrs. Meyers hand soap. I actually have some dial in there because the store was out of Mrs. Meyers and dial was what they had. Times that, that they are. I've got my Grove Collaborative glass bottle with my Mrs. Myers basil scent cleaner in there. I have my mason jar full of all of my scrub brushes. And then I have my Mrs. Myers scent in pine still, which smells so good. It's still winter, it's still February, you can still use it. And that completes my tray. One side of the kitchen done. So you can see the stove needs a little bit of attention. There's some marks that need to get scrubbed out. We're gonna use our Mrs. Meyers baking soda scrub in lemon verbena scent. Like magic, it's clean. Now let's get my teeny tiny countertops next to it. This side, done. Time to attack the floors. I want to thank everybody for watching. I want you to remember to like and subscribe. And for everybody new, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hang ring the bell so that you are notified every Wednesday and Saturday at noon when I put up a new video. So here's the giant hole in my front yard where the new septic system will go. I have a new tank though.